Welcome everyone. So yes, 90% got this wrong. The reason for that is, please understand, whenever you have a variable, okay, square of that variable is equal to a number, let's say 49. So when you take, to, in order to find the value of A, you will take square roots on both sides. But whenever there is a variable involved, the square root just doesn't happen as it is. It can be taken as positive and negative. So I will say value of A is plus minus 7. So here I can say instead of A, we have X plus 9 equals to plus 7. Or I can say X plus 9 equals to minus 7. In order to find the value of X, you will subtract both sides by 9. So I will have X equals to 9 minus 9 gets you 0. So X plus 0 gets you X. 7 minus 9 gets you just minus 2. The sign will always be of the bigger number. Here again we will subtract both sides by 9. So I am left with x equals to minus 7 minus 9. Whenever you have two minuses means you need to, uh, the operation what you need to do is addition. And when you add 7 and 9 you get the answer as 16. Sign carried will be of the bigger number which is minus 9. So we will take minus 16. Now let's put this value of x over here in the question. So we have minus 2 plus 9 the whole square that can be written as 7 square which is 49. Next what you have is minus 16 plus 9 the whole square which is minus 7 the whole square. Square of a negative number always gets you a positive answer which is 49. Therefore, I can say the value of x for this particular question is either minus 2 or it is minus 16. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.